let's not beat about the bush. How do you go about addressing what happened or didn't happen at the weekend with a game on a Tuesday night and, and a pretty quick turnaround? You said bush, I couldn't help but just look at your hair. Uh, That's a fair one. Uh, well, I wore a hat, hat last week in Europe. Well, well, we, had a, we had a very, very long players meeting and video session yesterday. Uh, the players are determined to try and put it right. Um, and you, you've got to be positive about things. You can't be negative. You can't be down. Um, you've got to learn from your errors. Learn the areas that we can improve on. Put action plans in place for players to, to get personal development and, and, and improve in the short term. And also for the, the team, how we operate. Um, and you know, them, them measures will be practiced today in training and hopefully come to fruition tomorrow. When you have a good performance, you often say that sets the standard. When you have a bad one, does that remind players what's not acceptable? Well, it sets the standard of how low you can go. Um, and you know, we have been decimated with injuries, and people will, will use that as an excuse. And I have done in the past myself. But you have to concentrate on the people that you've got available. And the people that you've got available, so far this season, have acquitted themselves really well. Possibly in the Cups, we let ourselves down a little bit, letting lead slip and losing penalty shootouts. Um, and possibly Forest Green away, a game that we, we should have at least took a point from, we didn't. Apart from that, I can't find too many times when I've spoke to you and I've been disappointed with the performance. I was bitterly disappointed with the second half performance on Saturday. So if you take it one and a half league games out of what, 15, 16? Probably a 10%. Um, 10% drop off. How many teams play at the full tilt for 90% of the games? Unfortunately, the ones that we have dropped off, we've lost, but we've also lost games that we've been playing quite well. And that's got to be the turn around. We've got to turn good performances into, into points, be it draws or be it wins. How do you stop conceding the goals you conceded? Uh, we've got to join it in. At home, he's going to board up the goals. Um, oh, you just got, you've got to put policies in place and try and get the structure right, try and get the organisation right. And, and then it's just practice, practice, practice. And, you know, the players know that there'll be no days off. You know, we have to stop this and... We're all in it together. No days off, is that a case of out there on the training pitch or we're in the video room every day until yeah. you win? Yeah, well, not until we win, until we stop getting beat. That's, that's going to be the first uh, target, but we just need to improve. And if that means spending more time, that's what we're going to have to do. Is it about system? You know, you had a back three the other day, you've had a back four. Is it about personnel or, or is it about something more fundamental than that? Well, it wasn't on Saturday, it was down to attitude, second half Saturday, for pure and simple. Um, sometimes systems can have an effect, but in the main, it's 11 v 11, always has been, always will be, unless they change the rules, like they did with VAR. Um, and, you know, we've got, to, we've got to get players out there who realise how much this club means, and we have got um, quite a few of them. Let's hope we, uh, we embrace it tomorrow. Have you got those voices in that changing room, people like McConville and, and We Kenyon? have got it, but they, 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 weren't, they weren't vocal enough on Saturday. But we have got it, we've definitely got it. And um, it's time for them people to stand up. Inevitably, you become a focal point at times like this, and there's a section of the support and a section of people watching the games who put the attention and the focus on you. Is that par for the course? Is that something that you're used to? Of course, as you lose games, you, you know, you, your job comes under scrutiny. That's, you know, at some point, getting, uh, say, catching all the bouquets, if you're not prepared to fend off the brickbats. And, you know, we've had, we've had plenty of success here. We've had bad times as well. Uh, I never get too high and I certainly won't be getting too low. Uh, there's a determination in me to see our way out of this, like we've been in the past. We've never had this many injuries, which has been a big blow, but we'll fight and fight and fight. And um, hopefully our luck will change a little bit. I heard something recently about Jose Mourinho when he went to Chelsea the first time. Players saying that he took all of the emphasis and focus away from them and they could get on with things. Is that sometimes the manager's role? Have you sometimes got to be almost a shield? Yeah, 
well, you know, I mean, I've always been a firm believer that if you're in charge of an organisation or you're trying to, to lead someone or, or lead a group of people, the first port of call when things are going wrong is to look at what you're doing rather than look at what they're doing and what can you do to improve. Certain elements I've tried to improve. Uh, actually went into place on Saturday, which tried to have a more calm demeanour. Now, that can go one or two ways. You're getting beat and people will say, look at him, he's sat there, he hasn't moved. And then the, the mistake you calm demeanour for lack of passion or not bothered, uh, don't, don't care. Well, anyone who knows me know how much I care about football. And yeah, now I care about Hackington, now I care about my teams, and now I care about winning. Um, but I have got to, I have got to translate a little bit of calmness to the to the technical area, and I think that was evidence on Saturday, and I'll continue to do that. But that won't stop the passion, and it won't stop us trying to get information onto the place. Is it hard to stay calm with where you are in the league position? Of course it is. Um, but yeah, you get nothing from getting angry and making rash decisions. You're always better off making decisions in a calm, calculated manner. You mentioned the, the injuries. We can't really sit here and, and go through a list of players and how long they're going to be out for. How optimistic are you of getting any back? I'm hoping Cody will be back in the very, very near future. I think he'll be possibly on the grass next week training, which will be a big boost for us. Um, and hopefully not before Christmas, which would be a big big boost on as well. You mentioned on Saturday about young Adekoya coming off the subs bench at 18 and, and injecting a little bit of something up there. Are young players a vi viable option or is it a difficult thing to do to throw them into this situation? It's difficult, but sometimes they can have that unpredictability uh, that can cause chaos in defences. And You know, he's a nice enough kid, uh, Leslie, and he'll work hard. That's one thing, and he always gets chances. You know, he's got an unbelievable goal scoring that goal with the, with the under 18s yeah, and hopefully he can translate that into first team football Does he offer something different to what you've got? Toure you say wasn't in your squad at the weekend Nathan Delfonso didn't come off the bench is it about finding the right person the right attributes for a situation? Possibly well you know you're always looking to try and think what you can do best to improve the team at any given moment and that might be a different aspect tomorrow uh, Lincoln then you got a good result there last season I think it was after maybe not the best run um, have you got fond memories of Sinsel Bank? Sean McConville pointed out yesterday for him uh, we were on a, a bad run and it culminated in us having a, a horrendous performance up there and then we bounced back at Lincoln it'll have no burn on the game and fond memories you know uh, the what they are the memories they're in the past um, and we'll be just totally looking forward to the future but I suppose it does show that you can almost hit rock bottom performance wise and then you go and get a response you can do that at any time you know we've, we've bounced back before from bad performances hopefully tomorrow will be no different and just with the way this league table is panning out how important is it to get results against teams who are kind of around you or within touching distance of you to keep them all involved and you only get three points for every beat so every game we play we want to win there's a lot of points still up for grabs and we'll be trying our best to get them